we can make a big long list of items that made Thomas Jefferson be great. But I want to talk about submission and initiative and how that helped him to be the great man that he was and how it can help us also in our process. Hi, I'm Diana Peterson, and I'm a Lemmy trainer. This is a Lemmy homeschool mentor moment. And I wanted to discuss some ideas that I had with you about submission and initiative and personality styles and how knowing your personality might help you to know whether you're going to have an easier or hard time submitting or an easier or hard time taking initiative. Thomas Jefferson was a great man and he worked under George Wythe and submitted to George Wythe, his mentor, for years and years and years. And he grew and he learned so much during that time. And when it came time to write the Declaration of Independence, he used his initiative and the learning that he had acquired by submitting to George Wythe and write that awesome document that is a foundational document for our country. So, submission and initiative. Sometimes submission out there in the world gets a bad rap, but under leadership education, we're just talking about following along and being guided by someone, an author or a mentor or a person or a process that knows more than you, that's been along the path and that can help guide you. Taking initiative is taking charge of your own education, of your time and your content. And to illustrate how important it is to be able to submit and to take initiative, I have a couple of life stories. I was once making a bumper pad for a crib for one of my babies, and I used a pattern even. So anyone who's a seamstress out there knows how important patterns are, right? Well, for some strange reason, I felt like I knew more than the pattern. So I used it but didn't follow it all the way. And at the end, my bumper pad ended up being three inches long on both ends, and it crossed through the bars, and it was the silliest thing ever. It just cracks me up thinking back to the time when I did not submit to that process of sewing and using that pattern. So submission is very, very important. Taking initiative is just as important also in its own time and place. So have any of you ever procrastinated preparation for a lesson? I used to stay up till midnight, week after week after week, because I would not take initiative during the week and get my lesson prepared. So now you can see how important it is to submit to a mentor, an author, or a process, and when to take initiative. And I also believe that it comes kind of down to knowing why you are the way you are. I think if you understood your personality a bit, it'd make it easier for you to know what you need to do. So, Personality Plus is a very, very fun read. It's an excellent personality book. And she talks about four different personality styles in there, Florence Lit Hour. Now, I know, and I don't think that anybody's going to be into completely one of those four personalities. We're all a different shade, right? And we've learned different things. But we do have some innate things that might help us it better in submission or initiative. So, I first want to talk about by looking at energies, your energy orientation. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? So extroverts like to be around people and they actually need to be around people. They get their energy from being around others. And that's what my husband is. While the introverts, they need to recharge by being by themselves. I am an introvert and I like to have my alone time. Next, add task or people. So the task, People who like tasks are those who like to write those lists, right? Daily lists, weekly lists, they like to cross off the things on their to-do lists, right? They're very, very task-oriented. And the people-oriented people, the ones who like people, and they will stop their tasks any chance they get to talk to people. So you can still be an introvert and like people, as well as being an extrovert, of course, and liking people, being around people. Once you have figured out which one of those four sections you are in, you can look at these titles, and these titles tell a lot. Powerful, caloric. Perfect, melancholy. Peaceful, phlegmatic. Or popular, sanguine. If you want more detail on these personalities, either read the book or click on the link to a webinar that was given last year about personalities. But I have noticed a pattern that people who are task-oriented, like myself, tend to have a hard time submitting to a process, the author or the person, a mentor, all right? But they're really good at taking initiative because they're task-driven. They like to get things done, generally speaking. (laughs) 
if you're on the bottom, you would have an easier time submitting than taking initiative, okay? Because they're not test driven. And that's why knowing who you are and why you are can help you and your students to submit better and to take or take initiative when necessary, because both are very, very important, as we can see from the life of Thomas Jefferson. If you'd like more information, click on the link below to learn about how to be a Lemmy mentor. If you'd like more information on submission and initiative, there was a scholar call about it, scholar ladders conference call a couple years ago that you can click on the link for that. And also there was a Family Foundations webinar about submission and initiative. So it's great visiting with you today. Have a great day and we'll see you again soon.